The technical director of Mercedes, James Allison, confessed that, initially, the team was perplexed by the setback in 2022. Allison was reinstated to his position in April this year, after it became evident that the second Mercedes car, built according to the new Formula One regulations, did not represent a sufficient improvement compared to the first. He mentioned that it was quite disorienting to witness the end of the team's impressive title streak, which had won all eight constructor championships from 2014 to 2021, with only one victory in the 2022 season. Despite securing second place in the standings, the team failed to secure any wins throughout the year. Allison acknowledged the challenges faced by Mercedes in assimilating the struggles they encountered early last year. In an interview with the Performance People podcast, he shared the complexity of dealing with the performance drop after years of dominance. When a team like ours is used to holding a high position for a long period and suddenly experiences a decline, it's extremely disorienting, explained Allison. He emphasized the negative impact on the team's confidence, highlighting how the reality of the stopwatch and defeats by other teams shook the foundations of the group. The previous feeling about the group suddenly loses its solidity in the face of the reality of the stopwatch and being surpassed by other teams. This shakes the confidence of an organization and creates immediate pressures on a company accustomed to long-term planning. Allison also addressed the challenge of dealing with the urgency to improve the car's performance, pointing out that sometimes the immediate pressure to fix problems can be counterproductive. Short-term demands are intense when the car and results are not up to par. There is a pressing need to improve. This is natural, but the call to action is high, encouraging people to act. However, the reaction can lean towards all disciplines within the company, from aerodynamics to vehicle dynamics, through the design office and all the specialties necessary to collaborate in creating a high-performance car, potentially heading in different directions. Each of them can disperse in independent directions, driven by this urgent call for improvement in the car's performance. If we're not careful, these groups may stop communicating with each other, focusing individually on their tasks to contribute in the best possible way, motivated by this urgency to enhance the car. It's possible that, inadvertently, a disconnect may occur between these groups, as everyone is focused on resolving what they perceive as their responsibility to improve the whole. During that challenging period since the initial decline of our supremacy, the most detrimental pattern we adopted as a team was to fragment more than would be appropriate. After this year's car launch, which apparently resembled the Mercedes car from the previous year and resulted in insufficient gains, the team brought Allison back as technical director, a position he had relinquished to Mike Elliott two years earlier. Elliott left Mercedes at the end of the year. Allison explained that the immediate branching of this change was not a direct significant contribution to chassis design, but rather the internal reorganization of the team. The focus was to ensure that Mercedes developed a competitive car for the 2024 season. If there was any positive effect, it was my attempt to bring all of this together, to encourage the key engineers leading the main divisions of the company to communicate more with each other. The goal was to alleviate some of the immediate pressure and drown out the cry coming from the car's performance, focusing on coordinating our work, he stated. The simple gathering of these people and the formulation of some questions, whose answers would only be possible after a dedicated time for dialogue, allowed them to unite around a jointly agreed program of activities to get those answers. Allison emphasized that it doesn't take long for people to revert to the habit of supporting each other rather than working individually, as this approach is more rewarding. And when someone gives permission for this collaboration, especially when these are the crucial questions that need to be answered, a natural cohesion and synergy occur within the team. He is optimistic that these initiatives will be enough to put Mercedes back in contention for the championship. I am confident that we have implemented a robust enough work program to launch us on a trajectory back to victories. Does that mean winning a race? Does that mean securing a championship? In my perspective, it's exclusively about the championships. Formula One is essentially a tournament of constructors and drivers. 
So I hope we have done what is necessary to position ourselves to compete for the title in both championships.